Hey guys, in this video I want to quick give you a demonstration of a few different ways that you can clean up the nub marks that are left from removing the parts for your Gumpla and other different model kits away from their runners. Now there's many many different ways to go about doing this. Typically what you're going to use as your primary tool will be a set of nippers. In this case I'm using these single bladed nippers from USA Gundam Store. And you can either cut from above or below the runner, do whatever is most comfortable for you. For me personally I find it more comfortable to cut from an above angle. And what you're going to want to do and what's recommended for even if you're using the sharpest of single nippers would be to leave a little bit of the gate there when you cut so don't cut the gate flush right up against the part this reduces the risk of damaging the part in any way so you're going to want to leave a little bit of the gate there attached onto the part that'll be your nub that we're going to then remove for the next step you can either cut the nub down further using your nippers and cut it a bit more closer or again for my personal preference I would switch to a hobby knife you just want to make sure to exercise caution because obviously you're using a sharp knife very near your fingers so again either cut towards or away from yourself whichever is more comfortable for you just make sure that you're careful and using a proper knife handling technique if you are using a knife and you have a nub mark that is particularly large like this one here for example I wouldn't recommend trying to slice this off in one go but what you can do is take little bits off at a time and again that's to prevent damaging the part and also to keep your safety in mind Once you've got it to a point where the nub marks are basically gone and hardly visible, you may want to stop there and you may be fine with that, but especially if you do plan on painting the kit, you're going to want to also sand them just to make sure everything's nice and smooth, because once you get paint on there, any uneven mark on your surface is going to be much more visible once you have paint on there. That said, for clear parts like this beam effect part, you're not really going to be able to sand this very easily without ruining the finish. There are ways that you could sand it and then go back with the polishing compound and make it shiny and clear again, but I would advise just some careful knife work for the best results. If you do plan on doing some sanding, there's many different tools available. You have glass files, hard type sanding sticks, soft type sanding sticks, sanding sponges, sanding paper, and it essentially comes down to this. If it's a flat surface like the side of this part here, I would not recommend a sanding sponge or sandpaper, anything that's soft and malleable because you're going to take this hard edge and you're going to round it by sanding it. So if you want to maintain a hard flat edge, I would recommend either using a glass file or a hard type sanding stick. For a glass file option here from Gun Primer is the USA Gundam Store branded version of the razor. So this is going to be your coarse side that you're going to use for sanding. And these work especially well for maintaining a glossy finish. So if you don't plan on painting a kit, and you want to keep the somewhat glossy finish of the plastic that we usually find for Gumpla, this is a really good option for that. Take for example this little bit of nub left at the end of this dark blue plastic part. Once that's just lightly filed with a glass file, it's completely gone and you have a nice glossy finish which matches kind of the rest of the part. However, if the nub in question happens to be on a curved surface like this, if you use a glass file or a hard type sanding stick that is going to flatten the curve and you want to keep that curve intact, so using either sandpaper or a soft type sanding stick or sanding sponge would be recommended. In this case I'm using a 400 grit soft type sanding stick here from Infini. Basically what it means by soft type is that you have a rigid core but then you have a layer of sponge in between so you have sandpaper, sponge, plastic, sponge, sandpaper, sort of a sandwich here which gives you some cushion so when used lightly it won't put too much flat pressure down on the part and that will maintain a nice curved edge there so you won't lose that in the sanding process. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you found that helpful. Links to all the tools that I used in this video will be down in the video description below. And if you have any questions, of course, you can feel free to leave those in the comment section. But thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.